can't talk white and act white and look white. And that's what Chef Aki's doing right here. So, yeah. Hold on one second. I wanted to show this. She's actually dressed like a man, though. Dressed like a man, okay? And men dress like that to hide their stomachs and stuff like that. So, anyway. So, yeah, I just wanted to get this in for the last part of Mr. G Exposed. This is the video I made called Proof Mr. G is uh, Agent. Because he's talking about eating Baba G, Baba G's food here, which is supposed to be vegan. He's talking about dead food, dead body. Then right here, he's at Papa Do's. He's right here eating at Papa Do's. Talking about he ate too much food. This is your agents, and 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 this is Dr. Sebi's left hand man, cameraman, acting like this, two face, and that's why I put him there like that. These are both his posts, Mr. G photos, Mr. G photos. You see what I'm saying? Mr. G Photos 1. Mr. G Photos 1. It's his page. I just copied it. All I did was copy and paste. You feel me? This is investigative reporting at its best. Okay? I'm done. This is over. I think I just want to throw this in there in case I ever lose this. People always be saying David Chappelle never wore a dress. And David Chappelle is in a dress right there. Just YouTube it. Right there. So the Hollywood's the Illuminati evil stuff is crazy. And then it's like, yo, you go to get a job, work for some white people. This is what happens. But you love these white people. They keep reposting and sharing. I show Mr. G posting white women time after time. Again, I want to show that Dr. Sebi is always posting white women and white people. He's at St. Francis selling his Dr. Sebi book. To a man wearing glasses while Dr. Sebi healed his eyes and stopped wearing his glasses when he was this man's age. Dr. Sebi was 30 wearing glasses or so and he stopped, healed his eyes. This is what Mr. G decides to post, but he blocks me. I'm just showing y'all. Now, this is Mr. G, a.k.a. your daddy's son. He's not Dr. Sebi's son, but, you know, whatever. This is Usha with Nick Cannon, Dr. Sebi's daughter, that we named the village off of. Who looks very fat and stuff, right? And has the big breast. Usha became very sick and started eating bad. And when she met me, she saw a sexy vegan man. And I talked to her. And I told Usha, now this is Zave, if I'm correct, who I have exposed. It might be Zave or not. I can't tell. But Usha, Nick, I want to tell you about Usha. Usha, I told her that Dr. Sebi was the most important man in the world and that she needed to go and help Dr. Sebi. She was like, I don't even. Eventually, she broke down and told me, she's like, I'm not even cool with him no more like that. And I was like, girl, you better go apologize. Tell him you need to get right. You want to work it all over, start all over. You his daughter. And you need to learn and get these herbs and save them before they kill him because it's the most important thing. And she did not even know that I created the iPhone. She didn't know that I was a food tester and influencer and secret shopper. I just tried to let her know and show her that I was very smart and that I knew a lot. And I said, please go and like tell him I just want to work with y'all. I really need help with a job because I'm having problems because I'm losing my job working for Ty Seeley. Because they want to serve me tofu and kale with garlic. And I won't eat it. I refuse to eat the tofu and the kale with garlic. When I worked at Ty Seeley's and I was homeless. And they knew I was homeless. Then they felt so crazy because they were trying to give me food. And I was like, I don't want it. I'd rather not even eat. I'd rather go and eat some french fries from across the street than eat your tofu. I already eat French French fries at Wendy's and at the place where they cooking bacon and stuff and fish and all that crap. They eat vegan tofu and they couldn't understand it. They couldn't understand it. And I was just like, yo, I don't want tofu, garlic, and kale. It's disgusting. I really, I don't eat meat, but I just eat a bunch of French fries and fried okra sometimes back in the day when I was homeless. You feel me? So either way, I'm just talking to Nick, my twin, because I told the Sebi family, that's at Dr. Sebi house that, that we were shooting a movie and that a lot of big stuff was coming and they had to get everything ready for the movie. Ain't going to be no Photoshop. Ain't going to be all that Photoshop Mr. G was doing. So y'all don't know Mr. G was Photoshopping Dr. Sebi Village 
and change and stuff. And Dr. Sebi caught it and was like, oh, you a good man. I'm going to let you keep this job. You good. But that's also a way of being false. Photoshop is like a way of tricking people. So now you got to trick people into liking Dr. Sebi, Mr. G. But you don't even like Dr. Sebi. You just Photoshop Wendy Williams. Now you're going to Photoshop Dr. Sebi. Just, just go back and listen to the videos. Mr. G admits to photoshopping Usha Village. That is not cool. If it's something wrong, you need to say, look, y'all, Wendy Williams, so-and-so, we need all these celebrities that I'm in pictures with and all this stuff that we work with to go and help Dr. Sebi get it right and paint it and get it right because I feel bad photoshopping Dr. Sebi. So he fo now I'm not talking about photoshopping Dr. Sebi the person. I'm talking about Dr. Sebi's village. Like, why you got to make it look better than it than it did or whatever be the case, you know? There's a difference between, you know what I mean, just making it lighter, making it lighter like a filter. That's not, that's, that's, that's not really Photoshop. Beauty filters are Photoshop. So there's beauty filters for even environments. People don't know what you could do with Photoshop. You can make a abandoned house look like a palace with Photoshop. Literally, like Disney World, you feel me? So I'm uh I'm gonna holler at y'all. I think this is about the end of this, and I'm running low. So.